Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Today I'm going to show you another update on this setup. I have it now running with one ring magnet and the flywheel I have over here normally, or you can call it momentum wheel, I have now on this side. So a ring magnet facing south in, does it really matter, south or north. And this is just a rotor made of full iron or a full iron uh, rotor. It is running now. I'm still running it at 23 volts at anything below 50 milliamps, same as the two previous videos. As you can see, the output is there. One thing I can say about this uh, output is uh, basically the same output, just looking it with my eyes. But one other thing is that this time the LEDs are not flickering. So uh, the output is steady and stable. That's a good thing. In the previous two video, the output was a little bit uh, not, uh, how you say, that, not that stable. The LEDs was flickering a little bit. A little bit more in one video than the other one. It was still flickering in both. But now, there's absolutely no flickering. The LED is uh, soft on the eyes, nice and steady and stable. Okay, let me go through the figures for you. When there's no coil in place, you know by now what I mean by that. It's running at 1933 RPM. When I put the coil in place, it's still running at 1933. It drops one or two RPM for just like 10 seconds, then it go back to where it was. So that's very good sign. Same as in the previous video. Same as uh, both of the uh, previous video. When I load the coil with the LEDs, it drops to 1940, not 40, 24, which is uh, around 9 RPM, which is pretty good actually. And when I short the coil, it does drops more to 1894, which is roughly uh, around uh, 39 RPM. Okay, let me stop it. It's my switch down there. I can stop the knife by hand. And then I'll show you what I mean. And the coil, this is not a coil, this is another one, is this time put in there like this. If I put it like this, it doesn't work, but like this, it does work. And with the iron core, as same as the two previous video. So you can see here, one ring magnet. This side is a salt pole. pole. It's the one magnet I had with a very uniform uh, magnetic field, with no dents or segments in it. So it's nice and smooth, and this is just an iron yeah, rotor, iron flywheel, nothing special there, no segments, one fully iron ring, and it's still producing energy. So I hope you folks realize what this means for a spinning ring magnet in, uh, in consideration to its magnetic field. Okie dokie, hope you enjoyed it, and as always, thanks for watching.